And here, you can see the Martin Hollow Trail. It kind of follows the Tower Ridge Road there. In fact, I think we actually cross and go on the other side of the Tower Ridge Road on down here a little ways. So, so. this is Nice little valley right there. And all the way at the top, the ridge. But up and on the edge of it. Oop.
Oh my goodness. The trail has a 30 mile an hour speed limit. I don't think I can go that fast. I'd be picking them up and putting them down. Valley. Yeah, I know. Everybody says the camera don't do the view justice. I know that for a fact because when I rewatched my videos, edited them, you know, it just it ain't the same as being here. It's looking down this valley and stuff. Oh, he went up that tree. I act like it went up that tree. Sometimes they go up and, and jump off the back and run on in the woods. I'm doing, I think I'm doing pretty good on this hike up. It's been pretty well going at it the full time. Not stopped the rest or anything like that, so.
Oh, should have said welcome to the Muzzy Loader Camp. This is Peanut. Uh, thank you for watching. And I hope you caught part one of this episode. The, the Axon Trail. Like I said, I'm in the Charles C. Dean Wilderness Area. Down here in Huger National Forest. It's south of uh, Bloomington, Indiana on 446. You come down 446 till you get to uh, Tower Ridge Road. And you turn left on Tower Ridge Road and you come back there. And where I park this time is at the um, the Grub Ridge Trailhead. And then, uh, uh, well, I just, where I was at, that was the fire tire. There's a, a trailhead parking there, too. And then, uh, of course, right when you get on the road there, there is a, a Blackwell Horse Camp. It says horse camp, but you don't need a horse to camp there. And it's on a first come, first serve basis, but there's plenty of room, so. Mm. Me, personally, I've never seen it filled up, full up, so. I don't know. Maybe get a bit crowded on like a holiday weekend, but Now, so far, this trail's been pretty easy, no big up hit and downs, and, and it's a good one. Because if you have trouble, you're not real far from uh, Tower Ridge Road. You can just walk right out to it if you ran into trouble. The road right up there. Uh huh. This might be where we cross the road at. It's got a narrow point in it that way, so I think well, I think this is the only section that's on the other side of the Tower Ridge Road. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. Don't hear nobody coming. Across we go. Safety first. Now this part of the trail, it might get a little bit 
off the road here. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay, National Forest Wilderness Boundary. All right. I'm still making good time. It's warmed up considerably since this morning. Still not hot. I just unzipped my jacket, so that made it a little better. I did put on an insulated underwear shirt it was 40 degrees when I left the house this morning it's the most it's 50 degrees when I got here started hiking Hey, that's something I should bring along with me a thermometer to tell the temperature. Thought I heard something rustling in the leaves. Probably a squirrel. I just didn't get sight of him. Seems like we're getting into some pine trees here. You see the sun is shining. Whoops. under that wheel maker there. Oops, 
spider web right there. As like I said, I've not went through many of them today. A few though, but that arch here is got the arch to the west there but we're heading east <laughs> we should be coming the other way another widow maker up here <laughs> 